Hey guys, Rollout here with yet another Let's Build that nobody expected. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Bionicle Alarm Clock. I haven't seen anybody make a video about this, and hey, I did reviews of some of the roleplay foam weapons, so let's continue that trend and take a look at this. This uh, allegedly came out in 2001, although I remember it coming out in 2002. I suppose I could be wrong. I never had this when I was a kid. I did, however, have the Bionicle wristwatch but that has since fallen apart and gotten lost, unfortunately. I actually needed a new alarm clock, though, so I decided to get this. It has a one-year guarantee on this uh, uh, battery, so um, uh, supposedly there's one included in here. I somehow doubt that's any good but uh, I got some spares just in case. Now you'll notice on the back here, um, you have a blue cow cow and a red Miru displayed. However, the actual set comes with a red Ruru, and I believe this is the only place you can get this uh, outside of mistakes and misprints, at least in the US, I believe that was the case. Um, but. I'm kind of curious to see how this works. I don't really understand what this is about. Is that the second hand? But then, like, what's this? I don't get it. We'll read the instructions. The box is a little bit worse for wear, but uh, might as well open it up. And again, <laughs> I hope that this works. It is still sealed. It is brand new. So, well, um, huh. That was weird. It didn't cut. It just kind of... I guess it, like, tore? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Huh. Just tore instead of cutting. It's not a good sign for my knife, honestly. <laughs> but it did pass QC, so... Let's see. What do we got here? Instructions. That's good. Mostly all of the Bionicle clocks are exactly the same. I know they did a Toa Nuva clock in 2003, uh, but this is, of course, the first one. Let's see, what is this? Limited warranty applies only under normal use. I, I, don't, I don't think that uh, this is under warranty anymore, but hey, send your complaints to there, I guess. All right, Lego clock. I guess this is just basically used for all of them. Battery replacement, yeah. Well, is the battery, is the battery inside here? Huh, hmm, okay. That's, that's worrying. Uh, see it has like, it has some gears and I guess, those like go on the back here. <clears throat> this is interesting. Like I said, I, I've never, never had a Lego clock before. Just the uh, the Lego watches. There's the guarantee, which is absolutely useless to us at the moment. I guess these are the instructions for how to put it together. Uh, shows you how to put the gears on and everything. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's take a look at everything inside. That's kind of nice. It just lifts up. Lifts up. Off. I was trying to say two words at once there. Oh, we have a little tray of parts. We also have two loose axles just sitting up here. All right. Here is the clock itself. Let's actually take a look at the face. Oh, that's really nice and shiny. I'm glad I got this brand new instead of uh, used, because that looks really good. You have, this is actually a sticker here, so you can take that off if you want. Um, a button for light and snooze. Uh, what's this? Is that like, is that to turn the alarm off? I, I, I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'll probably cut and read the instructions on my own to make sure I know how everything works before uh, we start putting things together and uh, see how it works. 
But there you have a brand new cow cow. Nice and shiny, no scratches on the visor. That is very nice. And we also, again, have a red Noble Ruru, which is awesome. Again, if you want to, like, flesh out your Takoro Guard or something, you might need one of these. Although, of course, you could just get it on Bricklink, but, uh, you know... Hey, if you need a clock and you also need to uh, make a, a rebuilt, I don't know, Tiribamba or like, I think rebuilt Kapura also had one of these. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. Um, you also have, whoops, a Taraga staff, uh, Vakama staff there. You have these big old gears. Interestingly enough, with pin axles already inside them, but they're like, they're glued in place, I guess. <laughs> they don't come out. Interesting. So those go on the back of the clock. Uh, you have another one of those. And then you got your, your Mata heads, your Mata eye stocks, several of these round pieces to attach things to the top, I imagine. And then and then, of course, the axles. So let me go read the instructions really quick. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get some batteries inside it. I'll check out the status of the battery that may or may not already be in there. And uh, then we'll check it out. So I think I've got everything all figured out. Surprisingly, and you know, it does have a battery in here that isn't completely uh, exploded and eroded away. And... Uh, it actually does work. You have a little pull tab here, just a little piece of plastic uh, stopping the contacts from touching there, but just a general purpose Toshiba battery in here, and uh, it seems perfectly fine. There she is, taken away. And the cover just goes on like this. So at the back here, you actually have some pinholes. You don't need those larger gears at all. This is for activating the alarm, and this is for uh, setting the time. But uh, you can just turn these on their own. However, I think it's a little bit more fun if we plug these on. So that goes there, like that. And this goes here, just like that. And they kind of stick out on the sides, which gives it a sort of cool look, and it also means you can set the alarm and set the time from the front, or at least from the sides. Now this right here actually doesn't do anything <laughs> at all. Um, it's not attached to the mechanism whatsoever. I guess it's just so that you can like pick a time to indicate and see how many seconds it takes to get there. I don't really see that much of a purpose for it, but I guess like if you set the alarm uh, for, I don't know, just like midnight or something and then move that up here, you can kind of see how many seconds the, the second hand takes to get there. I don't know, it seems pointless, in my opinion. I was kind of hoping it actually did something. Um, it looks sort of cool, I suppose. I really like the face of the clock. Of course, you have the three virtues there, and uh, the Bionicle logo, as well as uh, the 12, and uh, you know all the other numbers there in, like, Matoran. I wish that all of the numbers were represented, because that would be kind of cool. It would double as both a clock and, like, a guide for the Matora number system, but I don't know, maybe that would look a little bit crowded. Anyway, uh, this here is the snooze. When the alarm goes off, you hit that, and I guess it I haven't really tested how long the snooze is for, but I'm assuming, like, uh, between one and five minutes, I'd guess. Um, but it also activates a little LED over here. It's not very bright, and I actually tried uh, 
picking it up on camera. I turn all of my lights and it's just not bright enough for that. I was hoping uh, there'd be a little bit more. I believe the instructions actually say it's a backlight and I guess it lights the back of the clock, but I was kind of expecting, uh, you know, light coming from the back uh, to illuminate the face, but maybe that's too much to ask for. It's kind of pitiful. I don't know if that's just because of it, just because it's an old LED or it's just like that, but oh well. Anyway, let's, uh, let's listen to the alarm if we can get it to work here. Uh, this button on top is a little bit finicky. This is the alarm, uh, switch, I guess. This is how you turn the alarm on and off. And to turn the alarm off, you're supposed to push it in. And it's supposed to lock in place, but it takes some doing to get that happening. See, I'm struggling with it here. It will stick if you if you work on it, there we go, there it is, <laughs> and it is stuck. You actually have to put some effort to turn your alarm off, which, I don't know, is a good or a bad thing, but it just kind of comes right up there, and that's to signify that the alarm is on. So, where is our uh, alarm hand here? There we go. Not very loud, but, mm, I think if you put it, like, right by your bed... Oh, oh, whoa, hey. <laughs> it gets faster and louder as it goes on. Eh, I kind of like that, actually. Again, you might want to put it close to your bed if you end up getting one of these, um, but it's not too bad. Hey, it's a bionicle alarm clock. I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's decorate it up. So there aren't actually any rules. <laughs> there aren't any instructions uh, as to where you're supposed to put everything. Um, again, you got the red Miru on the back here, but these pieces are actually like the larger cylinder pieces instead of, you know, these little circles here. Um, so like, that's not even accurate there. Uh, I'm just gonna do my best. You also have the red mask um, with, yellow eyes and you know the blue mask here with blue eyes and this is also a blue mata head and this is a this is a gray one I, I don't know what they're doing I don't know what they're doing here but <laughs> I'm just going to wing it and we'll see what we get so uh, I imagine these bits here just kind of Go on the corners. I mean, you, I guess you could put them in the middle if you want to. Um, and then you got one more of these on top. Where did I... Where did I... <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, huh. Did I put the other circular piece somewhere? Or does it just come with this many? Does the staff even... I guess it... I guess that's fine. Weird. Huh, could've swore... Could've swore there were... There were six, but... Oh well, I mean, it looks all right. I'll zoom out here in a second. Get those axles on there. Yeah, you just got a little, little Taraga staff up there. Uh, and this here is the point of no return. Good luck getting these eye stocks out once you've locked them in place. Click. And uh, you know what? Let's put that over there. And this one over here. And then you got your Ruru and your Cow Cow. And, uh, yeah, man, there you go. I don't know, it just seems like a, an odd, 
uh, pairing of masks? Wouldn't it make more sense to have, like, Tahu and, and Gali or something? But, nope, it's just a, it's just a red Ruru. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. Hey, well, it actually seems to stick a little bit better, like, with the staff. Like, huh. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I spoke too soon. Okay. You know, this doesn't seem very solid. <laughs> like, it seems like there really should be another one. And I thought there might be. Did I just misplace it? <sighs> I don't know. I... I, I don't know. Anyway, I've got an alarm clock now. Uh, news flash. I, I, I know you were worried. And uh, it's it's all right. It's, it's, I mean, it's exactly what you expect it to be. So, until next time, this has been Rollout, signing off.